Hello there, I'm Nick Pachanka, and for those of you that don't know me, I'm a 19 year old college student, content creator, and freelance filmmaker living at my parents' house here in Phoenix, Arizona. And today I'm going to be talking about the space I have and how I use it. And I think that's really important when you're talking about a bedroom tour. I use this space as a living room, an office, a studio, well, and of course, a bedroom. And since this is the only space I have, it has to reflect that lifestyle. I've spent the last six months decluttering so much stuff from my life, eliminating the distractions, and it's allowed me to focus on what's truly important. Over here, you can see we have my bedside table, and if you couldn't tell yet, I love the white and wood aesthetic. I think it looks really nice together. Over here we have this wood container where I keep my AirPods, keys, and pretty much my everyday carry stuff, so it's all contained in one nice little area. Over here we have my diffuser. Honestly, the only reason I like it is because it smells good. I have this nice uh, peppermint essential oil. I don't know, kind of weird, but I like it. <laughs> and last up we have my wireless charger. When I come home from school or I'm going to bed, I can just plop it on there and not have to fuss with cables. And also, when I'm working at my desk, it's not distracting me from my work. Moving on, here you can see my bed on top of a frame my dad made for me out of wood, so thanks, Dad. Also, we have a white quilt. I think white really makes this small room look a lot bigger. Yeah, we have the wide-angle lens, so it may seem big, but it's actually a fairly small room. Also, we have a memory foam mattress with memory foam pillows. I take sleep very seriously. I got these cool leaf painting things from Target, and I think they fill the space pretty nicely. On top of my shelf, we have this nice little house plant. I think it's really nice to bring in some nature from outside and inside. Kind of creates for a nice creative environment. Um, also, we have my little mini Buddha statue. Kind of a friendly reminder to be nice every now and then. And then down here we have Dave Ramsey's The Total Money Makeover. I would highly recommend it for a financial advice period. And then also we have this journal where I write down kind of my deep thoughts when I'm really trying to think things through. I have the pen attached to it here so that way I don't have to look for a, print, a pen every time I'm jotting down those thoughts. Moving to the bottom of the shelf here, you can see we have one of my few decorations and this is a really cool vintage camera. It's a cool reminder to see how far technology has come since I'm a creative person that uses cameras. And also next to the shelf over here, you can see we have my subwoofer for the TV entertainment system on the other side of the room. So that was my more cozy relaxation sleeping corner of the bedroom. And on the opposite side is where I get my work done. This is my productive environment where I edit videos, client projects, and all that. I just recently switched to a laptop and I have it on the stand here because it allows me to have more tabletop space. That's a plus there. Over here we have one single cable. So when I wanna go and take it with me somewhere, all I have to do is unplug one cable. But in the meantime, it's plugged into this big ultra wide monitor. That means I can charge it and send video over to this thing. And I understand that maybe some of you may think this is excess and a little bit ridiculous for a whole minimalist bedroom. But the thing is, this allows me to be much more productive with my time, much more efficient, the big real estate allows me to get video edits done a lot quicker. These are my Nano Leaf light panels, and I think it's a great way to add movement in the room because they're slowly switching through these daylight colors. Over here, we have my wireless, wireless peripherals. I really enjoy them because they look clean. I don't need any crazy performance. I really like typing on this keyboard here. And also the fact that I'm able to move it around if I'm leaning back in my chair or forward makes things much easier to use. Over here, we have, well, my gaming chair. And I understand it doesn't hit, fit the whole minimalist aesthetic, but I don't want to be wasteful. I've had it for a long time, and it works perfectly fine. It is comfortable, and it does the job, so I don't see a point in getting rid of it myself. And uh, down here, we have 
my wireless headphones when I really need to kind of focus and maybe if there's noise going on around the house, these allow me to cancel out all the noise here. If you're curious about any of the items in my desk setup or in this room, my video gear, I'll have my kit linked down in the description below. It's kit.com slash nickpachunka. So that way you can support the channel only if you feel like maybe you could actually use something. Over here, we have my speakers. I'm always editing on these. These are amazing. They're great sound quality and they allow me to focus on my edits, get them done. They sound very nice. So that way everything is good for the videos. Down here we have the subwoofer. That is amazing because when I listen to music, I want to be able to have good bass. I'm consistently doing that. So this whole system allows me to do just that. So that was my office slash studio. Here is my home theater. This is my living room part of my bedroom. And this is where I like to watch a lot of YouTube videos at night or when I have my friends over, we can watch movies. It's really nice. I have this sound bar here. It's very affordable and it looks clean on the tabletop. Also, we have the uh, salt lamp for them positive ions. Gotta stay healthy, yo. <laughs> Down here we have my Google Home. And this allows me to control my entire room's lights. So all I have to do is go, hey Google, turn off the lights. If you want to follow me over here to my closet, bring you through my massive room, not really. You can see I have the things that I use but don't necessarily want laying around in my room. For instance, I have these hats hanging up here. This one's my personal favorite. Nice brown hat. I actually got it in Berlin when I was traveling in Europe last summer. Over here we got my summer hat, really nice when I'm going to the lake, uh, anything outdoors. It's hot here in Phoenix so it breathes much better. Um, if you want to go, we can start at the top here. We have my camping gear. This is where I do a lot of my camping stuff. I love camping so <laughs> that's why I have that. Over here we have a big diffuser uh, for my light, my studio light. And that is just more video equipment. I have some more over here. These are little accessories and things like that. This is actually pretty much all of the accessories I have for my camera. Uh, we have things like little mini tripods for vlogging or little fancy uh, lens cleaners. They're fun to play with. <laughs> um, down underneath that you have my clothes. Like these aren't even full. There's one thing in here. I am planning on doing a wardrobe tour coming soon, but still working on things on that end. Down here we have the case for the stabilizer gimbal thing that is actually being used right now. So thanks Mossimo for helping out with this video and recording for me. If you want to go, we can start down here actually. We have a couple boxes with tools that I use all the time and things like that. We have my gym bag over here. I think it's really nice to have a bag that I can carry my clothes in. And here we have my shoes for the gym. Absolutely love these things. These are the Adidas Ultra Boost. They're very, very comfortable. And I think having comfortable shoes is just as important as having a comfortable bed or a comfortable chair because that's where I spend a lot of my time. Over here we have dress shoes and also my casual shoes. These are Adidas NMDs. I use those for pretty much walk around, going to school, whatever it is, they're shoes, so they go on your feet. Over here we have my charging station, and this is for my video equipment. With the gimbal charger, the camera charger, it's really nice having it all on the wall here because you can see what's going on. You can see when things are charged, when they're not. When they are charged, I put them all lined up like this. I need a lot of them because my camera takes up a lot of batteries. And over here we just have a couple more batteries and a Bluetooth speaker that I like to use every now and then. It's nice to have that outside. Over here you can see we have my shirts. Still working on getting this down, but I'm in the progress. Everything is always a progress to better yourself. We got a beanie for when it's cold outside and a simple black dad hat. I really like this thing. Moving on. Over here you can see we have like my coats, hoodies, and dress shirts. Also, lastly, up top here we just have a couple more video equipment stuff like that up there. And uh, actually I forgot to mention down here we have my school backpack. Very clean, minimal, simple design. I love it. 
pretty much in college now, all you have to do is carry a laptop. So that's pretty much all that's in there now. And then we also have my Peak Design bag that I use for video equipment and carrying clothes around when I go and travel. So that was my minimalist bedroom tour. I hope that you could realize minimalism isn't about getting literally everything out of your life. It's about focusing on what's actually important and only keeping that of which actually adds value to your life. I'm still working on eliminating the distractions, and if you have any comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, I recommend you check out some of my other videos where I talk about filmmaking, minimalism, and sharing my travel experiences. Hope to see you in one of those. Peace.